Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to continue working on the game. So let's go ahead and we'll close out of this right here and let's open up the form1.vb designer. So we will right click and click view designer. So here's our form. We've got our timer and our form right here. So let's go ahead and we'll come down here and let's make it so that the person can see uh, the health of the um, current player and the enemy. So we'll come over here to the toolbox. We'll add a label. And we will make a, another label. So we have label 1 and label 2. So this, we'll set the text of this one to health. And we'll set the text of this one to health too. So we'll come back over here and we need to change the names of these so that we can remember what they are. So label Popeye Health and then label enemy health. Okay, so now let's go ahead, we'll come back here into form one dot VB and so form one loads what we want to do is generate an enemy so here's our generate enemy sub um, if you don't know what this is then you may want to move back and find where we did that so after they have created the enemy what we want to do is just go ahead and set the health label so we'll just type label enemy health dot text equals health and then we will add um, current enemy dot health. So what this is going to do is it's going to set the text to contain uh, the current health of the enemy. Now, if you notice, we have done this several times. Whenever they attack, it sets the um, progress bar right here. So let's just go ahead and we can create a sub that will do this for us. So we'll just type private sub update enemy health. Go ahead and hit enter. And we'll make another one for the hero. So we'll just do update Popeye health. Okay, so whenever we update the enemy health, what we're going to do is set progress bar enemy dot value equal to current enemy dot health and then after that we want to set this right here so label enemy health dot text is going to be equal to health and then the current enemy so to update the Popeye health we do pretty much the same thing but we're using different variables so progress bar Popeye dot value is going to be equal to hero dot health and then we'll set Label Popeye Health dot text is going to be equal to health, and then we'll add hero dot health. So now that we've created these two subs, let's go ahead and uh, use them in our enemy attacks and our other attack methods. So for enemy attack, uh, we're just going to try and update Popeye health. So if this returns an error it's going to um, do everything in the catch block. So progress bar Popeye.value is going to be equal to 0 and then we'll set health back to 100 and then we are going to put that back up to the top. So we'll just go ahead and leave this the way it is and when we click attack um, it's going to attack. So let's just go ahead and try to update enemy health. So it's going to update the enemy health and it's going to start the timer. Now we'll go ahead and run this and see if everything works the way that we intended. So here's Popeye. It's got health. And you can see that we didn't initialize it uh, when the program starts. Um, but we can fix that easily. So we can go ahead and attack, and you can see the health goes down to 95. And then when a Popeye gets attacked back, his health goes down to 90. 
So we can attack again. It goes down 10, and this one goes down 10. This one goes down 20, and then this one goes down 10. This one went down, um, I don't remember what it was. It may have been 30 something. And then this one went down, I think, 8. So we can just keep doing that, and the health is going to update um, as we go along. And you can see that the health here uh, is set to 0. So we'll come back in here, and whenever an enemy is generated, let's just go ahead and update enemy health. And whenever the form 1 loads, we want to update enemy health, or that's going to be done through generate enemy. So um, when generate enemy is run, it's automatically going to update the health inside of that. And we also want to update the Popeye health. So you can see that we got health at 100. So we take away 15, and then we get attacks for 5 damage. Um, take away 10, and then we get attacks for a whole bunch. Um, think that we still left eat brains um, to do 50 damage. Then we can continue to attack, and you see, you can see that uh, Popeye loses. And Whenever we click OK on that button, what we want to do is we want to update the health again. So for enemy attack, it's going to um, say that Popeye is lost, and then we'll just update Popeye health. So let's go ahead and run that. And let's try to get a zombie here. So here's our zombie. And you can see that Popeye has lost, and when we click OK, it sets his health back to 100. Then we can attack again um, until the zombie is dead. And you can see that we have a little problem. If the health is equal to 0, it technically isn't um, out of bounds. So we'll go ahead and look at how to fix that in the next tutorial. So go ahead, um, create these two methods if you haven't already. Then once you've done that, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.